Welcome back. Commentary for you. One of the, my sponsors, Steel Supplements. Link discount code down in the description. You also know I talk about it all the time. I glance at the tons of orders this week. I don't know if it's holidays, but whatever the case is, you need one of these in your life. Best price in the pinned comment. There's so much going on in the world of sports. You've got the NBA starting up. You've got NHL late at night. You've got, obviously, the World Series continuing when so many of us didn't think that it would. You need to stay up to date with all these sports. You want to know when to turn on something, when to watch something, when to not miss something. Glance is going to be the absolute best way to do it. No subscription fee, not just sports, news, stocks, weather, you name it. It's going to keep you up to date at a glance. I want to talk about Need Mac 5 in this video because, my goodness, you know, one of the big reasons college football was not going to come out the delay, the initial year, was because they needed to refine this game. They needed to rebuild this game. They needed to make adjustments. They needed to give us a whole new experience. And what I cannot be more surprised by is how often we see the same issues from Madden, legacy issues. If you're not familiar, a legacy issue is what we define as something that impacted the game before and still impacts the game now. And in a lot of ways, you know, these are multi-year issues. They're also, in some ways, an issue like this, where I don't really have to sit here and break down X's and O's. You can look at the game and tell that this is broken. You can look at the game and tell that this shouldn't be happening. And there's always been excuses for things like this. Oh, it's on arcade mode. Oh, what was the uh, tackling threshold set at? Oh, you know, what was the quarterback's stiff arm rating? You know, you can excuse away poor gameplay all you'd like. You can pretend that because this only happened to him once, it may never happen to you, that it's acceptable that the game can do this. But the reality is, this is what the game is capable of doing. This is what happens when you get an animation-dependent football game from a company that has spent, by and large, the last two, three, four years selling us how their game isn't going to be anything other than physics-based, realistic tackles, hundreds of animations. When a company comes out and works on a product, they set the expectation of what the customer should have. And I don't think there's one person in this community that wasn't saying, hey, if this turns out to be College Madden, there's going to be a lot of frustrated gamers. And I think you see that in this community, right? Your larger channels, significant view drop. Because you, the gamer, you just don't care anymore. We have been sold an inferior product by EA for so long that it has actually damaged the entire community of video game football. People have spent most of their life gaming with the same exact football game from year to year to year with no real meaningful change. And then they were sold a college game, which carried over so many of those same issues. And many people just said, you know what? This was the best shot we had to enjoy football gaming again. This was the best opportunity I had to love to come home, turn on a console, play a couple games, or play with a buddy, play online. And what did we find? We found the same exact broken game, the same bugs, the same glitches that impacted Madden for years carried over to this game. From the large ones like this to the small ones. And now EA is constantly in this uphill battle trying to sell you, no, no, we fixed it, we're going to patch it, just wait. You can't patch these problems because they should never be in the game to begin with. And one of EA's biggest issues over the past couple years is trying to fix one thing breaks three other things. Hopefully, EA can take actual time to get this game in a better position. If not, I think what's going to happen is we're ultimately all going to be relying on free copies from EA, influencers, or wait till the game becomes a severe discount in the marketplace to where you feel comfortable spending maybe $20 instead of the $120. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. You know when I can show you an issue that happened in Madden five years ago in a game that was supposed to be brand new when it released. There is no way that I will not be back in the week with more commentary.